I wanted to have a go at having my own brand. That was my goal of being young and finishing college. And there wasn't LCM, there wasn't many young designers showing on the catwalks. There wasn't really a lot of interesting things happening in menswear. There was no London showrooms that we were showing on the end of women's wear. So when we made our collections, the buying had finished and the stores were buying for the next season menswear. So we were completely out of sync with the whole menswear calendar. It was quite hard to navigate those first seasons, let alone creating a commercial collection which was ready for market. The first piece of advice I would have done was do my MA because that gave me the chance to really indulge in my thoughts, make my ideas relevant to the work that I was thinking about. And also it's just a really amazing time to learn. But two years solidly to spend on creation is quite indulgent really. And again, that was where I met a lot of industry people that the Royal College brought in and talked to us about different aspects. To start to achieve the commercial viability of what I was trying to do was to have lots of mentors, constantly talk to them, range plans, all the different type of editing of the collection, how we could translate certain things that were quite, like I say, naive design ideas into something commercial. So that was all kind of a new learning curve and luckily there was amazing industry supporters and commercial heads that were willing to help and make that happen with me. The way the system works is that you, the designer, has to fund everything. So it's very difficult to manage that. It always has been and I just resolved the fact that it always will be. <laughs> Since we went independent, we have private investors. We have a great buffer that help us with our cash flow and our finance. So I'm very lucky and I still work on collaborations. I don't just do James Long. There's a million other jobs that um, make the brand work. And Charlotte runs the full financial side of the company, which I have to know every pound where it's going. But Charlotte takes the pressure off that because she knows that my talent is to design, not to count books, so we have a great understanding in that way. And I did all my consultancies along the way in Milan and in Paris and all of those really helped me grow in terms of production because I was working with international houses so I kind of saw how it was all done and I'd come back and say, oh, right, this is how we do it now. All, all of those things helped grow to make a really good product. The main thing I would say for a a new designer, which does sound like a cliche, but it's the truest thing I can say, is have a great team around you, people that you really trust and that really believe in what you're trying to achieve because sometimes it's really difficult, sometimes it's long hours, but if you've got a great set of people around you, mine are really my best friends, honestly, that does sound quite cheesy, but they are, we have a lot of fun and spending all that time with them, you know, you create together, so it's a really inspiring environment to be in. So you've got to have people that are really great around you. When a commercial brand such as River Island contact you, it's a huge compliment because they see a potential in your work that has an outreach for a lot of people. So it is kind of a milestone. It was a really exciting idea that they thought that I could create something that would reach to their customer within their price range, within their aesthetic and I think we did that and I thoroughly enjoyed the whole process.